Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to learn how to factorize quadratic equations with higher powers very easily. So let's begin. Now it is very easy for you to simplify quadratic equations raised to the power 2. For instance, uh, a typical example like 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. It is very easy for you to factorize this quadratic equation. But what if we have the x raised to the power 4 or power 5 or power 6? What we will be expecting from this case, we are expecting 4 answers for x, here 5 answers, and probably here 6 answers for x. How do you go around solving the uh, this type of quadratic equations much more easily without doing any complicated calculations? So that is the essence of today's video. We want to look at how to use some easy uh, method to solve quadratic equations having this uh, x raised to higher powers so let's solve the following equations so we have to solve the following equations so we have i x raised to the power 4 minus 5x squared plus 4 is equal to 0 we have i i x raised to the power 4 minus 10 x squared plus 9 equals 0. Then we have i i i. We have 9 x power 4 minus 13 x squared plus 4 equals 0. Then we have i v, our last expression, x power 6 minus 9 x cubed plus 8 is equal to 0. Alright, so let's go ahead and tackle these problems to see how we solve them much, much more easier. Alright, so let's run out the solution for the first example. So, in the first instance, we have x power 4 minus 5x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, in this type of equation, what we need to do, we need to use some substitution method. But before we do the substitution method, we need to rewrite the equation in a way that we can get it uh, as the normal quadratic equation having x squared 10. So to do that, we rewrite x power 4 as x squared squared. This will still give us x power 4. Then minus 5x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Now from here, we say let y be equal to x squared. So it means wherever we see x squared, let's put y over there. So this whole equation becomes y. From here, we substitute y in place of x squared here. So we have y. Then this power 2 here will come here, 2. Then minus 5. The x squared here becomes y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now this looks like a quadratic equation, or this is a quadratic equation raised to the power 2. So we can easily solve this and get our answer. All right, so let's continue. So from here, we can go ahead and factorize to get our answer for y. Now, the first thing we do is we take the coefficient of the y squared term here and use it to multiply 4. So 1 multiplied by 4 gives us 4. Now, which two numbers can we multiply to get 4? But if we add or subtract, we get negative 5. Now, negative 4 and negative 1, if we multiply them, we get positive 4. But if we add them, we get negative 5. So we use them. So we have y squared minus 4y minus y plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so from here we can go ahead and factor out our y. So we have y here, then y minus 4 over here. Then between this and this, we have negative 1 common. So we have negative 1 into bracket y minus 4. Is equal to zero. So negative one multiplied by y will give me negative y. Negative y multiplied by negative four will give me positive four. So I can now write my y minus this one over here, and then I repeat one of the common factors y minus four is equal to zero. So from here, my y is either equal to positive one or my y is equal to positive four. Now, remember you made a statement that let y be equal to x squared. We did not have that given to us in the question. We introduced it ourselves. 
So it means that our y is not our answer. We need to substitute it back into this equation and get the value for x. So we say that now this becomes x squared is equal to 1 or x squared is equal to 4. So if x squared is equal to 1, to find x, we take the root of 1. So it becomes plus or minus root of 1. Or from here, we have x is equal to plus or minus the root of 4. Okay, so x is equal to, the root of 1 is still 1, so we have plus or minus 1. Or plus or minus the root of 4 is 2, so x is equal to plus or minus 2 over here. So therefore, it means that our roots for x are negative 1, negative 2, 1, and 2. So these are the values or these are the real roots for this particular equation. So when you substitute any of these values into the original equation, you should get zero as your answer. So this becomes our answer for the first expression, plus or minus one, plus or minus two. So based on this um, first example that we've done, you can go ahead and try your hands on the second example, the third, and then the last example to see the answers you get and compare them with mine after we are done solving. So you can pause the video and go ahead, attempt the second question, the third one, and then the last one using this explanation I just gave earlier. All right, so let's begin. So let's look at the second example. For the second example, we have x raised to the power four minus 10 x squared plus nine is equal to zero. All right, so just like we did in the first instance, we rewrite x power four as x squared squared minus 10 x squared plus nine is equal to zero. So I can say let x squared be equal to y. So I do the substitution. I have here y squared now because x squared now is now y. Then minus 10, x squared will now be y plus 9 is equal to 0. So this becomes my new uh, equation for me to solve. Okay, so the coefficient of my y squared term is 1. 1 multiplied by 9 will give me positive 9. Now, which two numbers will I multiply to get 9 by add to get 10? So, 1 and 10 will do that job. 1 and 9 will do that job for us. So, negative 1, negative 10. Sorry, negative 1, negative 9. If you multiply them, you get positive 9. But if you add them, you get negative 10. So, we do that. So, we have y squared minus y minus 9y plus 9 is equal to 0. So from here, we can factor out uh, y over here. So we have y into bracket, y minus 1 over here. Then we have minus 9 into bracket, y minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have our common factor. So we bring this and this together. So we have y minus 9, y minus 1 is equal to 0. So if we equate this guy to the equation so we have y is equal to positive 9 or y is equal to positive 1 but we said that y is equal to x squared so it means that y which is equal to 9 is equal to x squared implies that x squared is equal to 9 or y implies that 1 is equal to x squared so from here, we can go ahead and find our x. So our x is now equal to, we take the root of 9. So we add plus or minus the root of 9. Or we have x is equal to, we take the root of 1 to get rid of the square here. So it becomes plus or minus root of 1. So for the left hand side, we have the root of 9 will give us 3. So our answer here will become plus or minus 3. Or over here x will be equal to plus or minus 1 so therefore it means that our roots for this equation are plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 3 so that becomes our answer for the second expression all right so let's try and go ahead and solve the third expression so we have i i i or Roman numeral 3 9 x power 4 minus 13 x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. So this is just like the first two examples we've done. Very easy, the same way 
and we are going to get our answer so comment down your answer below before we reach uh, the final answer that we have all right so for this equation we still use the same method so we have 9 into bracket s squared squared minus 13 s squared plus 4 is equal to 0 i've just rewritten x power 4 as x squared squared so from here i can say let s squared be equal to y you can use any variable apart from y you can use z you can use k any variable at all all right so it means that this becomes 9y squared minus 13y plus 4 is equal to 0 all right so now we need to factorize this equation so we use the coefficient of the y squared term which is 9 to multiply 4 so 9 multiplied by 4 9 multiplied by 4 give me 36 now which two numbers can i multiply to get 36 but add to get negative 13. so if you look at it 9 and 4 will do that for us because negative 9 multiplied by negative 4 will give me positive 36 and if i add negative 9 and then negative 4 i will get negative 13. so we use that so we have 9y squared minus 9y minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0. So from here, I can factor out 9y. So 9y outside bracket, then I have y minus 1. Then over here, I have minus 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. So my expression will not be 9y minus 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. So from here, it means that 9y is equal to 4 or y is equal to 1. And then over here, it means y is equal to 4 on 9. All right. So this becomes the answer that we have for y over here. But we say that x squared is equal to y. So it means in the first instance, x squared is equal to 4 on 9 or x squared is equal to 1. This means if we want to get rid of the square term, we bring the square root sign. This cancel this. So our x is now equal to plus or minus. Root of 4 on 9 will give me 2 on 3. Okay, because this is 2 squared, this is 3 squared. They cancel the root sign. So we have plus or minus 2 on 3. Or x is equal to plus or minus 1 because um, if you take the root over here, this cancels this root 1 is still 1, so our answer is plus or minus 2 on 3 or plus or minus 1. All right, so let's have a look at the final expression that we have for this particular tutorial. So we have to solve x power 6 minus 9x cubed plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, you can see that this is a little bit uh, different from the first three examples that we saw. This is raised to the power 6, but the application is still the same. Nothing changes. We, first of all, rewrite this expression as s squared, but this time around raised to the power x cubed raised to the power 2. That is how we rewrite it, s cubed raised to the power 2. So this will still give us 6. Then minus 9s cubed plus 8 is equal to 0. So from here, I can say let y be equal to s cubed. So it means wherever I see y, sorry, s cubed, let me replace it with y. So I have here y squared minus 9y plus 8 is equal to 0. From here, I can go ahead and factorize. So I use the coefficient of the y squared term to multiply the 8, which is the constant. So 1 multiplied by 8 will give me 8. So which two numbers will I multiply to get positive 8, but add to get negative 9? So negative 1, negative 8 will do that. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 8 will give me positive 8. But if I add them, I get negative 9. So I have y squared minus y minus 8y plus 8 is equal to 0. 
so from here i can factor out y so i have y into bracket y minus one then minus eight into bracket y minus one is equal to zero so i have my final expression as y minus eight then y minus one is equal to zero that means y minus eight is equal to zero or y minus one is equal to zero so i have y to be equal to either positive eight or y is equal to positive one but again we said that let y be equal to s cube so it means that s cube is equal to eight or s cube is equal to one all right so if that is the case we can go ahead and solve this so if s cube is equal to this we can take the cubic root of both sides so we take the cubic root this cancels this so x is equal to the cubic root of 8 will give me 2 so 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 so the cubic root of uh, 2 is 8 or then we take the cubic root of 1 then the cubic root of 1 is still 1 so this is equal to 1 so for this expression there are only two answers s is equal to 2 and then s is equal to 1 so these two answers will make this entire equation be equal to 0 if we do a substitution so let, let's try that out so if we place 1 in here 1 power 6 is still 1 minus if we place 1 here it's still 1 multiplied by 9 is still 9 so 1 minus 9 will give us negative 8 plus positive 8 is equal to 0 so we see that it satisfied this equation and if we substitute 2 as well we are still going to get 0 as our answer so thank you so much for watching this is how we solve um, quadratic equation raised to higher powers much more easily just by doing a simple substitution and then getting our answer so thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye